Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim and today we're starting a vlog. So, we are starting this week, day seven, no Wi-Fi. It's really starting to get annoying not having Wi-Fi. There's a lot of YouTube videos that I now want to watch and catch up on. There's all sorts of... I'm missing so much on like TikTok and Instagram and all this. So in one respect, it's it's annoying and it's hurting like my algorithm and everything because I have so many videos that I can put up. But on the other side of it, it's been nice to switch off completely from all of that for a few days. Thankfully, we have an engineer coming out tomorrow morning who's hopefully going to fix it. Um, we think it's just going to be a new router, so why they couldn't just send us a new router, I don't know. But we'll see what he says, see what he does, see if he gets it fixed tomorrow, and then tomorrow night I can just sit here and binge him YouTube. But... In other news, what am I reading? Well, I'm physically reading, so it's taking me a bit longer. But I'm reading One Girl in All the World by Kendra Blake. And it's a Buffy tie-in. I am loving this. I'm loving this. old characters and new characters. I'm quite far into it now, and I'm just, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving being back in this world. It is new Sunnydale, but I'm still loving it. And I can't wait to see where this goes. And I kind of made a boo-boo. I reserved this one because my library had bought it and it was on the books that were going to be released soon shelf in my digital library. And I saw that they had the first one. So I put a reserve on that one as well, it already being out by somebody else. And when they said that my reserve had come in for this and I could go and collect it, I thought this was book one. It's not book one. This is book two. And I'm already almost on it. So, and I've just got notification that book one is now ready for me to go and collect. So I'm reading in the wrong order, but I don't think that's going to hurt me too much. So yeah, this is book two in this world, not book one. It happens, it happens. Anyway, right now I need to go and get ready for work, put the uniform on. I just, I can't be asked today. I really can't. I watched the football last night and then fell asleep on the sofa afterwards. I did then wake up about midnight and go up to bed. So I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just, it's me and this whole anemia thing. I'm just feeling so run down and tired. God, I'm dreading going in today. <laughs> oh, my weekends off mean that the kids are left on their own all weekend. And I just feel like they're not going to have done nearly as much as I would when I, when I, if I was there. So I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of tidying up to do. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. I need to go to work and get the day started. Let's do this. Well, I thought I felt like shit this morning. I feel even worse now. My head just... My head hurts, my head is pounding, and I just want to go home. Two hours left of my shift though, so hopefully that will go quick. I've got a bit of pricing to do, and then I think if I just do like light stock work, I should be able to make it through the shift, and then go home. Via, oh, via the petrol station, because I need petrol. That's got to go to the grocery store. Do I go to Sainsbury's on the way home or do I go to Asta? There's the question. There's the question. <sighs> anyway, I just popped in to say I feel like crap. And I don't know what's wrong, but I feel like crap. But two hours to go. Let's do these two hours. Let's do it. I have delicious Wi Fi. I have Wi Fi. Finally, eight days, it's come to an end. I now have Wi-Fi. 
I'm so happy. Oh, what do I do first? Do I catch up with YouTube? Do I post on YouTube? Do I? Oh, I don't know. Do I catch up on on my Fire Stick stuff? Like Netflix and, and Paramount and Disney? And oh my God, what do I do first? I don't know. <laughs> Morning, folks. It's now Thursday and it is my day off. So I'm starting with my breakfast and my usual breakfast in the morning is bottled well, Weetabix. All mashed down with hot water and some milk. And yeah, that's just my breakfast. Anyway, this morning I decided to put a scoop of protein powder in here. <laughs> I still don't have a protein shaker. So I'm still trying to shove it into my water bottle, which isn't really working all that well. I'm wasting more than I'm using. So this morning, I don't know what it was. I just thought I'd put a scoop in my wee bix and see what it's like. Now we're going to do a taste test. It's only one scoop, so it's only like a third of what I would in a protein shake. But let's try it. That's actually really good. Okay. I think I've found a way of consuming extra protein without a protein shaker. That works. Hey folks, it is my day off and I am now on my way to the library. Uh, I need to give back three books. And you're gonna need to get over mate because I've got right away. Get over. Thank you. And you can get over too mate. You saw me coming. Anywho, I've got to give back these three books. A head full of ghosts. Got a small things and uh, street card in desire. And thank you for indicating later than we need to. So yeah, I'm taking these back to the library and I'm picking up a hold. Uh, I think if it wasn't for the fact that I need to pick up a hold, I wouldn't be going to the library today. But uh, yeah, we're just we're running quick to the library hand over these three, pick up the one, and then straight back. Um, I, I don't have the whole of the day to myself today. Ooh, plane. Uh, Mum is off for half a day, so she's gonna come home. Oh, I can park in the library car park. This doesn't usually happen that often. Yeah, uh, I am. Um, I've got mum with me today. So I'm running around trying to do everything that I need to do solo, quickly. Like, take my books back. And yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do today, this afternoon. We do have an engineer coming to look at our cooker because one, part of the grill has fallen down, so it's like, we'll just get a service out. But, yeah, that'll be it. I don't know what else I'm doing today. But let's go and hand these books back to the library and grab the next so one. Literally, in and out. Mute, thank you. Uh, so the book that I picked up was In Every Generation by Ken Dare Blake. It is the first one in that new Buffy universe that I'm reading. I'm of course reading book two instead of book one. Oops, but yeah, I got book one finally, so I can now read that as well. Um, let's see if I get out of the car park quite easily. Using the library car park, which doesn't happen all that often. Usually, the op do the community car park around the corner. Alright, that's cool. There's a freaking wall. I can't see over the wall. <laughs> 
easy. Okay. So yeah, like I said, um, I'm already halfway through book one, uh, book two, sorry. Already halfway through book two and yeah, I made boo boo. The reading them in the wrong order, but I now have book one that I can read. Um, it did throw me because I was looking for a hardback, but it's, it's a paperback. What also threw me was the person who reserved a book, whose surname's right next to mine, just happened to reserve Powerless. Is it by Lauren Asher? That everybody's raving about at the moment. I'm like, do I place a reservation on that one? I really should read the books that I have out already before I start placing more holds. I did place a few holds this morning for books that are like upcoming. Um, so, I have placed some holds. No idea when those are gonna come in. So, yeah. Nice, quick, easy run to the library. One day, one day I will have enough time in my schedule that I can walk to the library and walk back again. It'll probably take about probably half an hour, 40 minutes to walk to the library and then back again. So I need at least an hour and a half to two hours to go to the library on foot. And I'm on the path, great. Okay, I need to concentrate. I'll catch you when I have something else to update. Whoa, that's the wall. Don't go into the house. One day I will hit the house. Well, bit of good news. Bit of good news landed on my doorstep. So the postman's just been, and um, following Martin, is it Martin Lewis? money saving expert uh following his advice i lodged a complaint with my finance company for dca which is discretionary commission arrangements on my car finance on a car that i bought quite a few years ago and i no longer have i'm not like a genius at any of this stuff so basically when i took out my car finance the dealer, what does it say there? A DCA is when the dealer was allowed to adjust the interest rates they offered customers for car finance. Typically, the higher the interest rate, the more commission the broker received. So because of that, he went on and said, get in your complaints now because it's still under investigation. And once the yeah, FCA, once they finished their investigation, those of us who have lodged a complaint could possibly get a payout. And I've just had an, a letter back from my finance company who have said that yes, my agreement included a DCA. So now I have to wait till September to find out what the findings of the FCA's investigation is before I find out whether I'm going to get a payout or not. But a little bit of a payout wouldn't be too bad. I don't think, because my finance wasn't that much, I don't 
because the car wasn't that expensive. I don't think I'm going to be getting like thousands like other people, obviously. But, you know, a couple of hundred wouldn't go amiss. <laughs> anyway, it's good to know that I do have a DCA. I do have a complaint. And now I've just got to wait till September to find out what the FCA say. And see whether we're getting payouts or not. So, bit of good news for once. Bit of good news. Right, now, let's go have lunch. Well, today isn't going exactly how I thought it would go. But I did all my chores that I wanted to do before mum come home but I didn't get any filming done like I wanted to so filming is now gonna have to be done on Tuesday does mean that I have more time to do some editing and get some videos up for you guys and oh my god I've been bitten by something and yeah more bruises from work great um so yeah more filming on Tuesday hopefully I can get up all the videos that I have ready to go up up today but we will see um we've just done the grocery shopping we are now making ice cream hopefully it's going to work we think the milk might have curdled so it might not work we might have to try it again tomorrow or saturday uh but we did the shopping now we're just going to go and mum's already cutting the lawn so i don't need to cut the lawn for once which is nice i might go and do the edging though for her as my ironings do dinner of pizza tonight and I think she bought garlic bread I think she snuck it in there we're trying to be healthy we're trying to be good but I think she snuck some garlic bread in there so yeah let's go and spend some energy and I did get a protein shake from the supermarket so I've had a protein shake today probably shouldn't have um I really need to cut though. I really need to cut my calories and it's just not happening. Anyway, right now, go and try and strim the lawn, do the ironing, dinner, and then maybe some editing. Well, good morning, folks. It is now Sunday morning. It's, it's not Sunday, it's Saturday morning. Wishful thinking. It's Saturday morning and it's just before seven, so I'm just about to start my shift. Now about 100 pages into uh, Keeping 13, not Binding, already read Binding, Keeping 13, and I'm really enjoying it. I just want to sit and binge that book. But alas, I can't, I have to go to work. Uh, yesterday was not such a good day health-wise. I... Yeah, I was in a lot of pain yesterday. A lot of pain. And I think I know what it was, but... Work quick. I think I know what it was, but I can't confirm it. So, a lot of swelling and a lot of stomach pain. So, yeah, a lot of swelling. And the swelling hasn't gone down. I'm not in as much pain today as I was yesterday, but I'm still in pain. And I'm still swollen and yeah, one painkillers. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be okay today, but we'll see. But I was not in a good place yesterday. I wanted to throw up and just go home and curl up on the sofa. But today's another day. Let's go get in the building. I need to do plant orders today because I didn't do that yesterday. I need to get some stock out that I was meant to do yesterday because after my little I kind of I almost passed out I was in that much pain so I was put on light duties yesterday which was good good to be on light duties but it means I still have a lot to do today and I need to go and start doing that so yeah really enjoying binding 13 keeping 13 really enjoying keeping 13 and I just I want to binge that right now if like fairy loot or a lumicrate do a special edition of voice of tommen i think i'm gonna have to partake anyway i've got to go to work
Good morning. It is just before half seven. It is Sunday. I am just about to start my work day. And today I get to do merchandising, visual merchandising, off plan visual merchandising. So basically it means that my company has not approved for us to do it, but we're going to do it anyway because we're running out of stock some furniture and we need to we need to fill the bay with something so I've been given free reign I I've done visual merchandising in the past so I, I am a visual merchandiser uh, but yeah that's what I'm doing this morning which means that I should hopefully hopefully be able to put my pods in and continue to listen to my book I am now 200 pages into Keeping 13, still absolutely loving it, so yeah, that is my plan for today, need to get this done before we let the customers in at half past nine, um, yeah. So I have about two hours to rip apart a whole bag and put it back again. A different stock oh i got a clearance out this morning so yeah that's what i'm doing today i think i might have to take some painkillers i think i've got a headache coming which is not good when i've got me bashing around with the racking but let's do this oh that's that's an it update oh i hope our systems are fully back today with the uh the microsoft going down Hardly anything worked in the store. We could we could take cash payments and we had a workaround for doing card payments. Basically the customer had to pay click and collect. It's the only way that we could do it at the time. We had no paint mixing, we had no systems whatsoever, so we couldn't check our inbound deliveries, we couldn't print pricing, we couldn't do anything because pretty much everything is computer based and we're lucky that we're one of the companies who still accept cash. But our systems have slowly been coming back online. We had a workaround that we had to do yesterday for the computers, so they should be up and running today. We should be back to full strength for today, but we'll see. Right now, my head is getting worse so do I have if I do I'm going to take some painkillers and start my shift good morning folks it is now Monday morning which means it's time to wrap this one up and start a new one so this week I've read two books two, I've read two books I've read and finished two books that was The God of Small Things which I don't think I was the audience for, but I did like the humour, I liked the characters, and so I got three stars. And then I finished A Streetcar Named Desire, which I absolutely loved. There were some problematic bits in there, but strangely I did enjoy Stanley, so that got four stars. And that's everything that I read and finished this week. I did start like two other books. <laughs> I started One Girl in All the World and I'm over halfway now. And I also picked up Keeping 13, which I'm about 200 pages into now, 236 pages into. So yeah, on the way to finishing books, but I'm gonna have to put these two down because Final Book Support Group is this week. So yeah, we're gonna end this one here and start a new one. So, as always, down in my description box, you can find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Goodreads on Instagram or on X. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you want to. Want to let me know you're here without actually talking to me? Leave me, leave me a car emoji for a streetcar named Desire, and I'll see you in the next one. Doodles. <laughs>